We have uh, time for public comment. Others who are present would like to address the council. Yes, Thank you very much. Uh, Jeremy Boyer with the Alec Brewing Company and, and, and uh, Michael Salter. Uh, we're here again uh, representing Brewery. Uh, consistent with our last visit, we're here to uh, provide you with any updates and to uh, answer any questions that you uh, may have. Now, I, I spoke briefly with Mr. Williams before the meeting, and I understand you've gotten a response to escrows? Correct. Latest? Okay. Um, um, additionally, we have some background information. We prepared some handouts. We asked Mike just to, uh, just to pass those out. Uh, just to kind of bring you up to speed, uh, following our last meeting, um, Alan Ziegler of the Larson Design Group um, uh, notified us that he, he had uh, indeed submitted his, his opinion uh, concerning our waste streams uh, to the Eastern Snyder County Regional Authority. He had done so the previous Friday. I uh, advised us that, that escrow would require a $1,500 uh, fee to review. Uh, excited that things were moving along, I immediately stopped down the following morning at the opening of business, uh, dropped off a check, and, and, and spoke to Mr. Bailey. Uh, Mr. Bailey uh, was, was very agreeable to see me, was very excited to see me. Uh, and left us with a very strong impression, uh, albeit an impression, that uh, you know, it, was a, it was a matter of an inexpensive review on their part, uh, and that the, uh, their engineer would be you know, reviewing our materials that we had submitted uh, through the borough. And uh, that the escrow board would review it on April 20th. So finally, we're you know getting somewhere with this issue, so, or so we thought. So to my surprise, on the morning of the 21st, I, I called Mr. Bailey, who explains uh, that no action was taken. Uh, escrow's engineers requiring additional information from the borough, and the borough's engineers requiring our waste stream. So original communication was made eight days prior uh, in an email to Alan Ziegler and Mr. Paul Williams on Wednesday, April 13th. We were not copied at all. Um, Scott, at that point, had agreed to, to, uh, to mail me a copy of their, uh, of, of their questions. Uh, in an email that morning, I reached out to, uh, uh, to Mr. Ziegler and Mr. Williams. A short time later, I received a, uh, a message uh, from Alan and later, later from Paul Williams, who recommended that we work directly uh, with Asker to, uh, to address our, their additional concerns and anything else that they may have. Uh, we as new business owners, we're getting mixed information here. This ball is getting tossed back and forth. Um, as for saying verbally that they need more information from the borough and its engineer, uh, they clearly have emailed, as, as, as we've copied, the borough and its engineer, but has not requested any information from us. Uh, it's eight days later that we find this out. We've lost eight days, we've lost another several weeks on their next meeting. Um, and then we hear communication that the, uh, uh, from the borough that were tell, telling us to work directly with ASTRA. Now prior to the meeting, we're, we're, we're being told that now that we're working with the borough's engineer. This raises an important question, does either party ASTRA or Seals Grove Borough know how this process is supposed to work? Is either part of the party uh, truly interested in bringing additional business to this municipality? Or are both parties carefully posturing their way through our application as a result of an ongoing lawsuit at the expense of the Alec Brewing Company? At Mr. Williams' advice on April 28th, I replied to Scott Bailey and Eskers uh, and the Esker Engineer's memo with a rather lengthy description of our brewery, our processes, our waste streams, which, which you have. 
As presenter here, Ron Yeager of Gannett uh, Fleming, in his original memo, raised a number of concerns concerning our proposed brewery. He made comparisons and used data for breweries on the scale of Yingling or Troves, and tried to apply it to our local and very small soup can operation. It was like comparing national beef to Frotman's Meat Market. Brewing waste aside, issues were raised uh, Additionally, with the, with the bar portion of our brewery, there are currently 20 establishments that serve draft beer on Escra's system. There's possibly more. Seven of those are in Seals Grove Borough, none of which holds an industrial waste permit. Let me remind you that one of those is a licensed brewery here in the borough with five times more potential capacity uh, than it been ours does. And again, let me remind you that we will not be preparing food, which we can uh, all know can add uh, additional load on Asper's waste stream. All of those 20 others that I mentioned before do prepare food. Now, I suspect Asper and the borough are, are simply doing their due diligence, and, and this will hopefully soon be behind us. What I do fear, though, with Esper's concerns is that they're putting the borough and indirectly other businesses on notice concerning their waste streams. And if that's the case, uh, these businesses need to know that, especially those small businesses that, uh, and, and those that are any entertaining thoughts about hanging a shingle out in Seals Room. This has been, quite, uh, this has been quite, a, quite an adventure for us. It's been quite a process. Uh, we've We've uh, asked for, and we're now insisting upon a meeting uh, with not only the borough, but Esper in the same room so that we get this hammered out prior to the next meeting. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. <clears throat> Again, it was a lot of material. I came in, I'm trying to get through it. Can you tell me how you view the borough's engineer uh, his report, whether the effluent is all right or not, versus Esker's engineer's report? Um, that, that is not an easy answer. Um, Esker's engineer's report, uh, he took the first Google search that he could find and apply all of these potential issues uh, for a production brewery much, 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 much exponentially larger than what we are proposing. Uh, we're not putting the next England brewery down the street here. Uh, we're, we're making soup. <laughs> we're making soup. It just so happens if you let the soup sit around, it becomes that much more enjoyable. <laughs> There's I asked the question because I wasn't sure if I was provided with the report. I think it was delayed getting to you. The report from Alan Ziegler as the borough's municipal authority engineer. I think to see if that raised issues for Cubrew. No, Alan Ziegler's report <coughs> used the numbers that, that we gave him, yeah. our specifics, the same specifics that we gave to Estra, only Alan Ziegler used our specifics and Estra went and assume the uh, Brewers Association numbers instead of our own. So the delay at this point is getting the approval from escrow. That's your struggle at the moment. Well, I, I mean, we honestly, no. Where the, where the problem is, there is a lack of communication. We're, 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 we're being told from one party, I mean, we're not even being copied on a lot of these things. We're, we're being told from one, one party is seeking information from the other, and we're out in left field somewhere. I mean, we're, we've got the information. We'd love to tell you everything about us. But, but uh, so hopefully uh, the, the, uh, the ways that we've put together you know, helps answer those questions. And I, I encourage any of you, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. It doesn't, and if you're missing any information, um, we, we were joking about this earlier, but it, it doesn't require a forum for us to to react, so that, that's a that's a joke. I don't know. <laughs> Is any member of council with Attorney Brunitsky brought up, President Brunitsky brought up, 
I'm looking at the memo to Scott Bailey from Ron Yeager, April 12, 2016. That is Esper's response. That is Esper's Guys get a chance yes. to read that? Because we get a chance here, to read that? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's okay. According to Mr. Ziegler's memo, the brewery produced 40 barrels of beer per month. The memo incorrectly states that that barrel of beer is 40 gallons. And it goes on throughout that memo saying the information Mr. Ziegler gave is erroneous. And in summary, you're expected to produce significantly higher volumes of wastewater than estimated in documents that have been submitted to date. And they go on and they're hitting you guys with an upper range of you know, some DDUs based upon what they seem to take as, I don't know, about their number mm -hmm. where they're pulling out of the, the air and saying you guys are in compliance. There's no way we can do anything until you address <coughs> these issues. Mm -hmm. So I guess what President of Council Bernisti wants to know, and I guess the rest of Council and I want to know, is who's right here? We, we've addressed point by point Mr. Yeager's. Uh, so they want to say who's, who's right and who's wrong here? Is Alan wrong in his estimates or did they get it wrong? Where they you absolutely got it wrong. Okay. And I demonstrated that. Mr. Williams, has uh, Alan Ziegler reviewed <coughs> Fleming conclusions and recommendations? He has. Now, Alan has only just received the, I'm going to call it the rebuttal, uh, or response, maybe that's a better word for it. Uh, but I haven't spoken with to Alan since that time. It was uh, well, let me, Thursday let, afternoon, I guess it was. Let me refrain, or let me repeat, Councilman, uh, Hendricks' uh, question, he had asked whether Mr. Ziegler had received Mr. Yeager's uh, report, which he had indeed received. It was eight days prior to the last, uh, the last meeting, and there, there's, there's evidence of that. It's been over two weeks he's had it in his hands. Not ours, but for Mr. Yeager. Well, we have no feedback yet from... Uh, Nothing already, no. I can leave you with this. Uh, as you know, Q Brew is on our radar. And we are looking into it closely. I've been in contact with uh, you already, and we'll continue with that to do what we can. Some decisions will be out of our control because it's a test ground. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to continue to do it. The main problem is every time it gets delayed another two, three days, it's actually delaying us another two or three months. I heard. And uh, the same problem is starting to pop up with the Central Keystone Cop as well. Uh, we needed uh, ramp reports from them, and they were supposed to send them out to us in emails. And four phone calls and three emails to Rod uh, later than Two weeks later, we finally got that report sent to us, which now put us a month behind in applying for a variance with the state. Uh, every, every time we get delayed, like I said, two or three days, it delays us down the road two or three months. Well, please document your, the flow of information and permitting with CK Cog because we want to examine that and evaluate how the world that's working as well. Okay. Uh, and, Go ahead, sir. Uh, I was just going to say, you have been to Esther's meetings also, haven't you? We have not. In my, con in my conversation with Mr. Bailey, when I dropped the check off, and I didn't specifically ask him, uh, I mean, do you, see any, do you see any benefits? Should we show up to the meeting? He said, no, 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 there shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. You put the face on the problem. You know, it's, it's just like you're you're here tonight. Well, I, I, I guarantee I will continue to be here, and I will continue uh, showing up at the Esther meetings until those, or begin to show up there until this is resolved. Mr. Rudnitsky, we do have a dual permit process. You know, I'm just going to say, unfortunately, that's how it is in our ordinance at the present time. Um, and it, it doesn't seem logical that we would go about it independently because you would think that we would both reach the same conclusion. So I know that there's a long-range planning meeting of ESPRA. I believe it's the second week of the month and the board meeting the third week of the month. 
I also agree with Jeremy that we have this combined meeting to try to work through these, if, if they are impediments or, or to try to resolve whatever it is. I, I want to make a, a, a comment about Alan Ziegler's letter. It, it pretty much did accept verbatim what was provided to him. Uh, technically, it, it's the cleaning, cleaning product or sanitation project product that exceeds the BOD level. Uh, it, it's a technical thing, you know, with BOD. Um, it, would, it, would, it would amount to 330 milligrams per liter, where the maximum permitted is 200 milligrams per liter. But what Alan was pointing out, because of the information was provided to the applicant and pointing this out for ESCRA's benefit, however, yes, we know that information, but based upon the production level that they estimate to make so many barrels in a month, how many gallons per month are we really talking about putting down the drain that violates, technically violates this, but more importantly, what is, if there is any impact on the treatment plan? That's really the question. Uh, we know that there is a technical violation here, but what can we do to, to work through that? However, and as, you, as you've read, um, ESCRA, uh, you know, that, that is a very, very small portion of their, uh, their, uh, their response and their estimation of, you know, what we intend to do. Uh, and they obviously don't have a clear picture. I, I feel that we've addressed that. Um, yeah, so you, I read your response. I thought it was very well done even brought a smile when you were commenting on their statement about how expensive it would be to remove these products and you showed, yeah, here's how expensive it is, two fifty two gallon plastic, you know, cans to just haul it away. It didn't seem right. all that expensive. So they clearly have a different picture than we do about what you're doing. Certainly. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Others in attendance who would like to be heard.